Let's see if I can open it with one hand. Here's my little lace edging. And the reason I uh, went ahead and put it more at the bottom as opposed to right there at the seam was because, you know, she's a young girl and she's liable to go in and out of it rather than just, you know, have it sitting on a shelf looking pretty. And inside, her uh, name begins with a T, so I bought her a little T stamp because, you know, it's all about her. Um, I just painted the inside with white, some more of the green that I originally used. Um, can't really see it very well, but there's some glimmer mist going on with the same honeydew mist. Um, and then I kind of took like a dry brush and painted a little bit of a darker green, trying to give it a distressed look. And, you know, hopefully she can use it for something, maybe throw her earrings in it or... You know, a little love note from a boy. Who knows? Anyway, that's my box. And I, like I said, I haven't been crafting in a while. So, there's some things I may would change next time. But, you know, I'm giving it a shot. There you go. Then this is the little card. I just used the rest of my Michaels Benz flowers. Um, This is one of those Martha Stewart punches that I cut and tried to make 3D couldn't find any cards in this is a pre-made card the green card but um she loves green so I tried to at least keep with the green and green and animal print thing excuse me this is some um dollar bling from AC Moore you got different size blings on a little sheet and this is um some glittery um we call it glittery zebra print paper it's different from this one this one's a matte one that I sprayed with glimmer mist and you can kind of see some of the misting going on there whereas this one the glitter it's got a little texture to it and the glitter was already in it I got one sheet for 97 cents at Walmart and I cut my butterflies out from that I thought that would be cool because you know once the light hits it a certain way you can see the glimmer and the shimmer and you know, give her something a little different from the card. I mean, not the card, box, excuse me. And I kind of left it plain. I'm not really great at putting sentiments and stuff. And the one that I did use, I cut it out and I just didn't like it. So I just kind of had this little dressed up lady here and some butterflies flying around, you know, being free. Added a little bit of the uh, bling distress the edges just a little bit with my Tim Holtz black soot distress ink. Um, I added a little bit more of the lace trying to tie it in with the box kind of keep everything in the green, the zebra, the lacy, and the bling family. And my little butterflies, I don't know if you can see them, but I wanted to make them out of the zebra paper. But then I got to thinking, well, if I put them on the zebra paper, they don't really pop. So what I did is I took an additional one of the green cards and punched out some green um, butterflies. Kind of give it like a mat or something. And then I did I punched out the uh, dress form and distressed the edges from the rest of the additional card that I used. So I kind of ended up using two cards, but... I mean, you get like 10 or 12 in a pack for two bucks, so it's okay. No big deal there. You know, I'm using craft supplies that I've been hoarding for years. Woohoo! So that's my um, completed box and card. I ended up not using my uh, lady that I colored because I only had a few skin tone markers, and the one I used made her. I don't know, maybe brown or orange or something. Anyway, I'll save that for another day. Um, one thing I wanted to share with you real quick. Take a look at my dirty table for a minute. I'm going to have to set this down, sorry. Ah, freak you out. 